in this video, I'm going to be showing you boys a 6-6 power forward build that gets Hall of Fame break for one gold rebound chase on NBA 2K25. Now, this build, I'm not going to lie, I barely slept, and I was so close to making this build last night. But, you know, your boy had to look at my bank account. I've already made two builds, and it's barely been two days already, so your boy had to chill. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys two variations of this build. They, you know, with the cap breakers, it's going to be essentially the same build. You guys can end up making the same thing. It just requires you to get to the cap breaker. So, this is going to be the version one of the build. I know a lot of people like making some of this undersized build. I've been playing a lot of undersized centers on my seven foot build and trust me they are the most annoying builds to play against so far so we're gonna go six six two hundred and sixty one pounds on the weight and seven two seven foot two on the wingspan and this is what the build's gonna be looking like now the version two of this build i'm gonna be showing you guys is actually gonna be able to get a 93 driving dunk with an 82 vert so you'll be able to get the elite contact um alley contact dunks on that version but anyways with this version you guys can see you have 89 driving dunk 85 standing dunk the standing dunks aren't as op as last year but on the 66 you need to understand again it's one of those really cheap attributes that it's it's worth going up because you know there's no point going 75 and you can't really increase too much on other stuff i mean if you want to do that you can but for me personally i still like to be able to dunk fairly well when i'm around the paint as a 66 build you're gonna you're gonna have limitless range on this build also so you're able to get bronze limitless range so you can still shoot you can space the floor um and with sort of the you know the the playmaking again it's not bad i'm always gonna go 75 because listen i know 80 plus passing is probably gonna feel better but 75 as long as you're not throwing turnovers you should be okay with this and you also with the ball handling the, the build goes up as you make the build anyway, like the stats go up. So it's not bad just to be able to have those little bit of, you know, speed with ball so you can kind of run a little bit when, when you're with the ball so you're not completely like slow and stuff. But again, when it comes to sort of the, the main stats that were here, you're going to be able to get on the strength, uh, Hall of Fame brick wall. So you'll be able to get 95 strength on this build while still having an 80 speed. Okay, you're still going to be very fast. Now you're probably thinking, Phil, what about a 6.9? Is it a 6.8? The six nine and the six eight are cool. You can do them, but what I found is you, they don't hold as much attributes as this build. So you can't hold a lot of stats. If you make a six eight or a six nine with this version, you're probably going to be missing a lot of stuff. You're probably going to be missing a lot of, you know, finishing. You're probably going to have to sacrifice your shooting. So for me, I don't want to make those level of sacrifices, and you still have gold rebound chaser because this is the only height at six six that you'd be able to get gold rebound chaser you cannot make a 6-6 small forward with gold rebound chaser because you need to put up your weight your weight needs you need to be heavy on the weight and also you're still very quick and you still have an 83 vert now the 83 vert is just for me you don't necessarily have to put it on um you can just choose to you know down, drop it down to an 80 it doesn't really change anything but i just like that ability to be able you know if i'm small i want that extra boost and extra help to be able to get those things and also you get still so you go to get the lanes you don't have like a super high so sort of glove but again you're going to be more of a lane taker trying to you know get those bump steals and you also get high flying denier on silver so you, you know get those chase downs those help um and a 74 interior defense that also gives you post lockdown on bronze just in case you have those you know weird guys i always i like playing in the post you have some form of defense it's not the best form of defense but at least you've got something to protect yourself against that so this is version one now what I'm saying in the end, both builds, you can actually end up making the same version it, because when you get your cap breaker, funny enough, you can actually use your cap breaker to get this build to a 99 strength. If you're, you know, if you're technically speaking, you can do that. So if you, if you get plus 10, I think a lot, plus 10 will be achievable for a lot of people. You can get 99 strength on this build and also you'll be able to get a 93 driving dunk which is all you need to be able to get the elite contact dunk. So your, your two cap breakers, which is your plus 10, would allow you to get this build to a 99 strength and your driving dunk will be able to get to a 93, which gives you elite contact dunk. So in terms of sort of the animations you get, I am going to back up quickly as well after showing you guys this to show you the version two. So if you guys are kind of thinking, you know, I want to make a similar build, but maybe not half brick wall to start off with, um, you guys can see it's called Inside a Board Hunter even though you can still shoot three. So this is technically a catfish build in a way. Um, so if we go into the test, but you guys already see I've already, <laughs> I've already been here. I spent too much time, but you'll be able to get obviously this basic pro 
dunks, contact dunks, the elite ones, you'll be able to get this under the basket. Again, you're not going to be using this to be able to contact dunk people, but it just feels good when you're in those situations. You know, you don't want to be slow. You want to quickly be able to just go up and, you know, get get your quick bucket if there's a bit of space in there. Now, obviously, you get so many dunk animations, but again, this is the one that I do like. You guys will see in a second. So once you get um, the 92, you'll be able to get these elite contact dunks. When you set those big bodies, you're just going to be dunking on people. Now, this, the second version I'm going to show you guys, you'll be able to get this one off rip. And then you can use a cap breaker in the future for the half brick wall if you want to. So I'm going to quickly show you the second one. You guys can see, bro. Listen, I, I ain't slept, bro. You guys can see, I've just been making so many builds. There's even a 6.5 version I was going to make, bro. This 6.5 version was cold. I quite like the 6.5. Oh, my God. It was it was so nice making it. Um, But here is the, I hope this is this one. Let me see if it's this one right here. No, it's not this one. So, yeah, there's so many versions. There's so many variations of this. It's insane. But I believe it is. Yep, this is the second version. So, with this version, you guys can see you'll be able to get the drive and dunk off rip. Okay, so if you guys are thinking, Fair, I don't necessarily want half brick wall. I think the half brick wall version for me is going to be nicer because you'll be able to set that big, big body screen. Like, But then, again, it's kind of the same thing as the first one. In the sense of you can use your cap breaker in the future once you get it to get this build. Say you get plus ten, um, I think plus ten will be achievable for most people. Even plus five, even with your plus five, you still be able to get a ninety-five strength easily with this version. And then you can put it also. Or if you want to, you know, increase your drive and dunk to, with, with your cap breaker and get like Hall of Fame, you know, get gold. Uh, so get half post rise and then use your you know plus one to get it to legend. You can do that. If you want to increase your standing dunk, it's, it's up to you. So you, you do have flexibility, but you still have that same attribute as the first one. You still have that 92 defensive rebound, and you can still snag offensively. I know a lot of you guys are kind of worried, but fear the taller builds are going to grab boards over you. I don't know why people always say that. People always like they're going to grab boards over you, but just box them out. <laughs> it is not that hard. You're much faster than them, and you have strength, okay? So when you box them out, they're not going to be able to move you out the way quite easily, okay? Trust me. Now, again, the only reason why I did not make the first version for two reasons is only because, A, the game would not put me at center. I, I promise you, boys, if, if I could make the 6-6 six, six at center, I would have made it ASAP because I don't. I want to be the screen setter. I like being this because I don't trust a lot of centers on this game. So if I make that power forward, yes, the game can sometimes put me at the center position, but that's not going to be where it's going to predominantly put me. It's going to put me at power forward. But you can play both. That's why I kind of like this build. Again, you still have the three-pointer to be able to space the floor. Um, and this is max wingspan too. So this is like a maxed wingspan 6'6 six, six build. Um, and you still have playmaking on this version. So if you guys want to tweak a couple of things here and maybe increase your you know, your playmaking, you can still do that. Okay, So this build, the 6'6 six, six, six height for me, especially with the max weight to get that rebound chaser, is very, very flexible with what you want to do. Now, when it comes to the animations, I'm going to show you guys with this one, you will be able to get those elite um, alley-oop contact dunks, which are going to be very, very OP once you set that screen. You know, people can just throw really bad oops to you, I, I reckon, and you still be able to get it. Again, I've already maxed out this one. I was testing it all night. Your boy, again, did not sleep. But you guys can see with this version, you'll be able to get that elite contact alley-oop, and you'll be able to just yam on people's head. You'll be able to just catch all kinds of bodies. And your driving dunk is high. You can even posterize people without necessarily using... Uh, the dunk but yeah that's pretty much the 6-6 six, six build um again this is going to be a future build of mine i am definitely going to be making so you guys definitely watch out for that future build when i do drop it it's definitely probably going to be the first version because i do want to have half brick wall i just think it's going to be op just dropping people and still being quick you know what i'm saying like you you have off brick wall and you still have 80 plus speed that's why i really really like this build but they're both quite inside a board hunter again kind of a catfish build but that's going to be and the build video for this one again the six five you know what for you you know you know I'll, I'll drop down on a video because <laughs> i really like the six five version the six five version especially that small forward is cold again okay? i know people are like fear i like making risky builds if you guys don't know that's my play style in this game i like making builds that people wouldn't think of making and they wouldn't think of using because they probably don't think it's good but trust me i've been playing 2k long enough to know i am not going to have any issues making a 6-6 six, six. but anyways hope you guys enjoy this video you guys let me know what you guys would tweak change if you know if you guys like the build if you guys don't like the build again you can use it as a build template for something else you want to make you don't have to make exactly like i'm making it but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next one